Well, the Class 4A, 3A, and 2A girls basketball state tournaments tipped off today. Tomorrow, Class 1A gets underway, and the Cass Lake Bina girls basketball team makes their return to the state tournament. Last season, the Panthers were eliminated in the quarterfinal round, and ever since that loss, CLB has been waiting to return back to Minneapolis. The sting of a one-point loss to Mountain Iron Buell last March has been the motivation for Cass Lake Bina to make it back-to-back -back and go deeper in the state tourney this March. Going back-to-back has -back been special to me, especially with all my senior girls that got on team because we've been playing together for since the beginning pretty much. It's pretty special. This is like the first time this program's ever done it and I'm glad to be a part of it. Senior captain in the program's all-time leading scorer, Taryn Frazier, is no doubt the heart and soul of the Panthers team, but CLB has other scorers up and down its lineup. Any one of us can score 20 a night or more, so it's just nice to have your games and be able to help people have theirs. The Panthers drew the four seed in the opening round at State, taking down a very similar Hayfield team. They like to press a lot. Uh, they'll do a lot of stuff with us, with the same, similar to us as pressing. Uh, we just handle their pressure, limit our turnovers, and make them turn the ball over because our three keys to the game. Despite the Vikings' unbeaten record, the Panthers are unfazed and, of course, have unfinished business. We're going to go down there and make some noise, especially with how it ended last year. We're just more hungry. We're trying to send the message that we're going down there to play. We're not messing around. Tip off from the Maturi Pavilion between the Panthers and Vikings will be at 1 p.m. tomorrow. We'll have highlights and reaction on tomorrow's newscast. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.